Hey everyone, Ken Ross here and I'm a business consultant that specializes in reducing costs for companies by looking into their essential expenses. But today, it is the final installment of my four part series of my breakdown of how to save you money today, right? I'm gonna put that in the description on this side of the screen up here at the top. If you haven't seen that, go ahead and check that out as well as the other three parts of the more expanded look of that video. I've talked about all the, the relevant steps. Uh, the first thing is a pre-step, which is you need to catalog all your vendors, right? Every major person that you pay in your business, you should know who they are, uh, what their costs are, uh, how much you're paying them on a monthly basis. That's the first step. The second step is one that's fairly simple. It's the first step of my process, which is ask other people what they're paying for that business, for that same service, that same business, <laughs> that same class of business, right? Um, and if you can, get a breakdown from them. Ask them if they can provide you with some more details, right? Because this is really going to help you in this la last step, but I'm, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. I want to explain what step two is. Step two is calling the vendor yourself, right? The person that you're paying or the entity that you're paying. In the case of telecom, and I've been using telecom in this whole example, it's Verizon Wireless calling Verizon saying, hey, look, I really want to negotiate this rate. I can't afford this. I want to do this with my business. I want to do these things. You're trying to establish a relationship and not just get a discount on step two. Step three is one that involves a lot more care and a lot more time, right? And that is, I'm going to find another vendor and I'm going to get their price for what it is that I'm paying for with the current vendor. And this takes some very big care, right? Because if you looked at my uh, spreadsheet, what you need is you need a breakdown of the service. You need an understanding of everything they're offering for that price. Because what you don't want is you don't want to get in this, the situation of, hey, I switched to AT&T from Verizon and my level of service is different or my coverage area, right, isn't the same. And that's certainly something that is going to be the case if you switch uh, wireless vendors because of the technologies and that's the other thing that you'll want to make sure you understand is how the technologies work right if you are a Verizon wireless customer for example and I, I like to pick on Verizon because I do a lot of I've done a lot of business with them I have a pretty good relationship with them uh, in this particular use case and in the guide that I'm going to provide in the description you can go ahead and click it down below you'll see some examples of how this all works. You'll see an example of every step and what I've done uh, during this process. And what I've used as an example is my experience with Verizon Wireless. Um, I haven't really kept everything the same, right? I've changed certain people's names. Uh, the phone number and the contact information is there. Um, and I would also, um, if you contact me, I will also provide you with a copy of my Verizon Wireless business bill. I love giving that to people because that's that's really what step one is about right step one is ask me what it is that i pay for my service and i'll tell you and i'll actually give you a breakdown so that's that's step one right and that that's really something that you really need to understand is if you have done step one correctly and you're actually doing all the steps for each category to save the most money you are going to this this particular step is going to be very useful that you've done step one correctly because step one is hey give me the breakdown and I have my breakdown I have your breakdown I can compare apples to apples in some sense or maybe even apples to oranges because in some sense you'll find out that what certain vendors are offering is a different level of service than what you have or the service that you have is far greater than maybe someone else's service for that same vendor and that's something that's really important that you understand, right? Because you don't want to just say, well, this one's cheaper, so I'm going to go with that, right? If you go with that, like I said in, in this step, you are, you are possibly signing up for more pain, right? And that is once I get to this vendor or I get to this new solution, finding out that it's not what I asked for, it's not what I thought it was, and then begging my previous vendor or finding another vendor to go back to that has better service and getting fluffed into their bigger price for that right because you're, you're desperate at that point and they know you're desperate they know the level of service you were offered was not as good as the service that that you had so now they're going to give you that service back and they may not give you a discount for it and they may give you 
uh, a deal that sounds like a good deal, but it really it's laden with a lot of other uh, issues. And so that's why this is an important step, right? Calling other vendors, you need to do the same thing that you did with in step two, which is you need to record everything that they're saying. You need to know who it is that you're talking to. You need to try to establish a, a similar relationship that you have with your current vendor and you need a breakdown. So once you've had had the opportunity to, to get a couple of event vendors, let's say four or five, right, different options, then you can decide based on all of those factors if it's if it's worth it to switch vendors or not, or if you should take the current vendor's deal, or if you should really look hard into what your friends in business have and see if what they have is something that you're worth investing into and saying, hey, look, I'd rather just have this service. So I'm going to call, um, you know, AT&T and I'm going to ask them for what what Jim is getting at, you know, at his restaurant. That's that's the key to saving the most money. And that's why this is so important. Right. That's why I wanted to share this information. And it's something that I really feel like as a business owner and as people in general, right, if we can share information, the power that's in the information is so valuable, right, that you can save money today. So I would really encourage you now that you've gotten through all these steps, now that you've listened to me ramble for for hours or, or I guess maybe not even hours, for minutes, uh, maybe more than a little more than an hour if you've watched all these videos, um, invest some time in really trying to, to skinny down some of your expenses. You will find that there's great value in knowing that you have the lowest cost for your services and that you're not overpaying for those things. And, and that's something that I, I, I really enjoy. It's something I really like to bring to people. And in another video, I'll talk about how each one of these steps, I can put these on steroids. So that's something I wanna, wanna get into. I'm gonna talk about how that really works for me and how that's different for me than it may be for you. But that's something I know that you'll find some value in as well. And so that's what I have for today. I really wanna know if you've done any of these steps. I really, really wanna know if you've saved any money doing any of these steps. Please put that in the comment section below on this video. Please subscribe to my channel because I am going to spend a lot of time investing in other topics to, to bring you good information, to share information with you that can help your business. And that's something I really want to do for you. So please subscribe to my channel. Please tell your friends about my channel. Have them subscribe. Like this video. Comment down below, like I said. And I am Ken Ross. I'm, I am very passionate about this. I, I want so desperately to see the power of business and our relationships be leveraged in such a way that we don't overpay for anything, that we invest in what the right things are in business. And so that's what I got for today. Please visit my website, IamKenRoss.com. And until next time, see you around.